Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So today I'm going to be uploading something on my original channel because as I said before, my schedule when it comes to uploading on this channel is kind of bad really. So I'm trying to fix that. I will post a link down below for my second channel where it will be more frequent with my movie reviews of course. And I'll post a link down below in the description box for Elvis as well if you want to see, you want to see some gaming content. So anyway... I'll be talking about Kung Fu Panda. Yep, the fourth installment of the franchise. And in, in case anyone's wondering, I've already covered the other three films in this franchise on my other channel, by the way, in case you're wondering. I will post a link for those in the description box below in case you want, in case you want to see them. Anyway, so yes, I just... Yeah, I've been to this studio before, and I've shown it this studio before my other channel, so yes, I here we go again with this channel. So, uh, even on this channel now, I guess, because I want to show this for real quick, because that's where I went. Yeah, they don't have the big thing right here, like they did before. Oh, well. It was a nice little feature, though. Don't know why they removed it. Anyway, but yeah, I just thought, yeah, went to the movie, theater, just watched it, because mine as well, I guess. Why not? But like I said, I did already review the other three movies. I will post a link down below for the other three videos in case anyone wants to watch them. Anyway, so here we go, I guess. Might as well. Kung Fu. I haven't reviewed a Kung Fu movie in a while. Anyway, let's get into the plot, shall we? So here we go, I guess you can say. Oh, yeah. Anyway, in the fourth film, of course, Panda over here, the Dragon Warrior, as he's known as, it's basically a celebrity. By this point, he has a big reputation. Everybody loves him and whatnot. So everybody, he's well known, pretty much. Yay, he's around. Hip, hip, hooray. And of course, he's doing all these kinds of things. Showing his moves, of course. And people are just cheering for him and whatnot. And people are happy about this. Like, he's, he's a hero. He's a, pretty much a local hero and whatnot. So, okay. But, of course, not everything seems... Dandy. No, not everything seems fine and dandy whatsoever. Okay, so it's going to be a conflict, of course. So it's always going to be a bit of a drama here, because of course. Anyway, so there's this shape-shifting lizard-type character who's the villain of the story, and she is a very bad person. She's not very good, a good person, like, at all. And she's trying to pretty much rule the land with an iron fist. She pretty much wants to take over every town, every city she comes across. And yeah, she can be pretty much a menace. And then not only that, she wants to go into so yeah, pretty much a menace to society. She wants to rule the, all the lands as much as she could because she's power hungry. And of course, yeah, this doesn't this it doesn't also it doesn't help the fact that she wants to go into the spirit realm and wants to basically use the opponents that were defeated before and use their spirit to make her stronger. Yeah, to make this com things complicated even further, but he based Kung Fu Pan over here. He used to learn that he used to have an accessor. He like a sensei student kind of thing. Yeah, that comes into play in this film as well. And that's pretty much the general idea, the general consensus of the story, really. So in other words, it's one of these coming of age kind of a movies where Panda has to, or so it's a dragon warrior, has to learn that even if you're having a good life, nothing stays the same forever. For better or for worse, things do change, and they will have to change. And it's something you do have to accept, even though I mean, you may not be willing to accept. You may know you have to do it, but even then, you, you may not like it. But it's for better or for worse, it ha says something has to happen. But anyway, but like I said, yeah, went there, of course. Just, just use this as, as a way to just have some fun, I guess. Why not? I did watch the other three anyway, so why not? Let's, let's talk about this one, I guess. And yeah, I can take some some drink and get myself some energy, my energy drink. Drink. Yeah, what? What? Why not? It's it's part of the movie theater going experience anyway. So why the hell not? I guess. But anyway, so if you're wondering if this is a worthy entry of the series, I, I thought so. I thought it was a pretty good film. Which yes, shocker, this is actually a good one. And that's a rare, a fourth part of a series that's actually good. That's a rarity right there. Usually these types of movies will go downhill after, what, at th the third part. 
but then it'll just get worse. It'll get progressively worse from there. Assuming the second part is actually worth watching. Sometimes it is. It depends on the franchise, but usually they would just get progressively worse until, until they just reboot it as a way to fix it, I guess. But anyway, this wasn't too shabby, folks. I like this one. I like the animation. The animation is really good. So yeah, I actually saw a, a DreamWorks picture in the movie theater. Which, I don't remember the last time I've done that, actually. So here we go. So yeah, I actually went to see a DreamWorks picture in the movie theater. So there you go, I guess. And as I mentioned a moment ago, folks, I was never the biggest fan when it comes to DreamWorks. And, yeah, I know they made the movie recently, Puss in Boots 2, which I didn't go see because the Shrek movies have gone really downhill. So, I was not really ex wanting to uh, talk about that. I, I, will, I will talk about Puss in Boots 2 because I've spoken about the Shrek movies before. But I'll get to that when I get to that. Just letting you know, for anyone that wants me to cover the Shrek movies, I did review, I did talk about Bev the Strike movies, but not entirely. So I'll get to the rest of them whenever uh, I feel like it. I guess whenever we get the chance, just throwing it out there. So I'll get to those when I get to those when I when I feel like it. When I have the time. Anyway, just throwing it out there. So I do think that the Kung Fu Panda series is better than the Shrek series, mostly because of the fact that they were able, they were capable of keeping up the quality of these films. And, and while there may be more Shrek movies than Kung Fu Panda, but I say Kung Fu Panda is better because what, what I just said, they were able to keep up with the quality. If anyone wants me to compare the two. And anyway, I thought what anyone was asking, I just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, so like I was saying, the animation is pretty good. It's very colorful. Yeah, it really does have that Asian feel to it, even though despite the fact that it's an American made. So, I'll, I'll give the animators that. It really does have that Asian feel to it. And yes, of course, it meant that as a compliment, obviously. It's not meant to insult them whatsoever. Because it tells me that animators really did their best to, uh, as an attempt to basically have that some kind of organic feel to it. Make, to make it feel genuine. Not some kind of cop-out anyway. They're not just trying to hand it to the viewers or anything. They're trying to make it seem like a, it's a genuine storytelling experience and we're trying to have a good storytelling and make sure the story has a good stake to it of course yeah like i said at the end of the day if you have to like really over simplify it it's basically a coming of age story i mean okay that's nothing new really but that's basically what this is it's a coming of age story kind of a thing really i'm gonna think about it. that's that's what this is and yes yeah, so the whole thing with the, with the two dads of course when the whole thing with the his actual birth dad and then the adoptive dad, yeah, they become a part of the story as well. And it goes into the whole story where the whole bit where things change, of course, that, that comes into play because Panda, I mean, again, the dragon warrior was basically an orphan, at least for a little while. So that was definitely a thing, of course. And which, yes, is mentioned in this film, by the way. So, yeah, the, the character designs are pretty nice. I like the character designs, really. And the character designs are really nice, of course. There's a lot of detail, of course, when it comes to these kinds of characters. That might be simplistically dumb, but there's also a lot of detail as well, which is, of course, really nice. I like that. So the colors are really nice. They're really bright and colorful. And I mean, there's some darker colors throughout the thing, but only when it's needed, I suppose. As for the music, the music itself isn't too bad. I, I do like the music as well, come to think about it. The music is nice. It's nicely done, folks. So it's well composed when it comes to this kind of a thing. So, all, all in all, even the music is nicely done, of course. I, I like that. So it's nicely done in that regard as well. So, all, what I'm trying to say is that it's well, it's well composed. The production value is really nice. Of course, I like the fighting. The fighting wasn't too bad, of course. I like the fighting here, folks. The fighting wasn't too shabby. Of course, it's, it's like a kung fu kind of thing. So I have to talk about the, the fighting. The fighting itself, the fighting sequences, though animated, are nicely put together. So I have to talk about the fighting, of course. It's a Kung Fu type movie, you know, it's for kids. But still, they even make the whole Kung Fu thing into it, make that be like a plot point, of course, which I thought was a nice touch. It's not it's not just thrown in there just, just because, which I thought was nice, really, kind of thing about it. So they actually 
wave the kung fu stuff into the, the actual story. It's not just there just to be flashy uh, at all. So that's that's nice. Actually, we're able to put it into the story in some kind of fashion. So it's not too shabby, I suppose, in in that regard. So. Like I was saying, the voice acting is is pretty good. I like the voice acting. You know, J- yeah, Jack Black does make a return. In case anyone's wondering, yes, he does make a return here. Of course, he he did his thing here. Obviously, he did pretty well. The voice acting as a whole is nicely done. No, nobody was lazily put put together. Yeah, a lot of everyone involved in this. Of course, I did like how it was done when it comes to voice acting. Obviously. So, all together, I can say it's pretty good. Yeah, I did like what they were trying to do with the voice acting, of course. And then, ultimately, as for the humor, yeah, like I said before in my other videos, I, I usually don't like kung fu comedies. Like, I, I, usually, I usually do not like these types of movies. It's kung fu and comedy. I mean, I guess it makes sense that they were going in this direction because it's kung fu. You could easily use a lot of slapstick comedy. So with Kung Fu and slapstick, slapstick comedy, they go together rather well. But thankfully, it doesn't it doesn't irritate me, really. It didn't irritate me. It didn't come off, like, annoying when it comes to comedy. So it was nicely blended together. There were some dramatic moments. Yeah, there were some dramatic moments, of course. So I guess I'm blended some kind of way. Sure, that's fine. Uh, I didn't mind that, really, in that case. Because ultimately... What really matters is, of course, is the story down. That's what really matters at the end of the day, of course. I, I didn't mind that. As for the humor, the humor is actually pretty well done, actually. I, I, like, the, I like the humor. You know, it, was, it actually got funny from time to time. It, it was not overly done either. It didn't take me out the moment. So when the comedy came in, it was in the very precise moments because, lo and behold, look, he, he, to, trying to use humor and trying to use comedic stuff, you need, you know, timing. You, that's what you think about. It. You can't just rush into things, of course. Anyway, so yeah. The humor here was nicely done, of course. I like that, obviously. So anyway, this was definitely something I would recommend if you get a chance to give this a watch. The length of action, I guess it, it goes under the, the idea as an adventure story, I suppose, as an adventure story. So the Dragon Warrior is pretty much gearing up to become some kind of individual, of course you can say. So yeah, I did I did think that this wasn't too shabby for what the, for what they were trying to do. I did like that, of course. But yeah, I don't know. I, did, I can say that this was definitely something I would say. I I didn't mind it really. Like really, I didn't mind it. So. I don't know. I I not say it was, I liked it. I, I didn't mind it really at the end of the day. So there was that. That was a pretty good film. It was a pretty good installment franchise, and it's animated pretty well. And the voice acting performances was really well done. And I don't know. I can say that it has good direction, of course. And if you ask me, this should be the last one. If if anybody's if anybody's planning to do more, and I'm like, no, no, just leave it how it is. I just leave it how it is, of course. Just leave it. You shouldn't just not go off on a deep end, which some franchises do anything about it. Just leave the franchise on a good note. So there's that. I'll just leave it alone. At the end of the day, it's fine, of course. I did I did like the characters that were in here. I did like what, was the, what they were trying to do, of course. And the people who... Did the characters did a pretty good job? Of course, the voice actress who played the villain does actually really do a well, good job here as well, folks. So yeah, it's pretty much the return of the Dragon Warrior, and he has to do what he has to do, of course. And I'm trying to do some kind of excitement, of course. Dragon Warrior must be, he must do what he has to do. It just, of course, he must continue what he was doing, of course. And this was a uh, pretty much. Solid movie of this as the franchise, of course. I would definitely say it's a worthy summit, of course. Like I said, just don't, 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 uh, don't make a fifth one. It's not that this is a bad movie or anything, but you don't want to keep it going and going and going until you just ruin it. You don't want to do that. 
there's, there's plenty of franchises that start off strong and just get weaker and weaker a progression of weaker. Even if the first few entries are actually pretty solid. Just leave it alone. As, as far as I'm concerned anyway. But yeah, just it's fine. It, it does it does what it's supposed to. It does what it's what it's meant to do. It's entertaining in a lot of ways. So there's plenty of stuff I did like. I don't want to spoil anything really. I I will I will leave it alone, of course. Because uh excuse me if I'm being a bit vague here and there. Because I, I usually don't spoil stuff really when it comes to these reviews. I really come to think about it. But I don't know. That's basically what, that's basically what I have to say. I mean of course there are new characters that are introduced, of course, obviously. But yeah. So that definitely would say that it's it's fine. It's fine. It's a good way to be introduced to the fourth movie in some ways. And of course, you now the uh, the Dragon Warrior will of course have his catchphrases, of course. And obviously the calm full fighting, great animation, fluid character movement, a lot of details. The animal themed characters are great. All the all the animal characters have a lot of personalities, of course. And there's a sense of fantasy setting. If you're one of those people who likes fantasy movies, then this is definitely for you because it does have that fantasy setting to it, of course. So yeah, if you like fantasy movies, then there you go. And of course, I definitely like the characters, of course. I'm not going to say who it is, aside from the villain, of course. But anyway, all together, I can definitely say it's not a bad combination. What we're trying to do it for it's definitely something I would say it's worth getting in your, for a movie collection, I suppose. It's a good entry. I did like the what they were aiming for. It, it didn't get into the realm of being convoluted. And that's another thing, really. If you want to try to make more and more movies, try to explain some things in a way to make sense. A lot of these, a lot, sometimes you get convoluted because with each movie, you start to lose track and what's going where and whatnot. Because if you make so many movies, you start to lose track on what's movies doing what. So thankfully, that's, that didn't happen here either. It didn't get overly convoluted or anything, thankfully. So, and of course, you have to make make sense somehow. I mean, yes, you, do, you have to throw references to the other movies, obviously, because it's supposed to take place in the same universe. And you just have to find a way to make sure all this stuff that's happening within this movie is tied in to the previous installments, of, of course. You have to make sure everything just works properly. It'll have its own flow to it. The pacing is pretty good. I definitely say the pacing of this film is just nice, obviously. But all right, thing, folks, that'll be it for now. So again, I'll post a link down below for my second channel. And I will post a link down below as well for our first. Is if gaming is your cup of tea, it will be for both links. Will be posted down below in the description box. So it's just saying a quick reminder. Here. So anyway, folks, I guess there's not much else I can say really. Is that well, like what I just said a moment ago? I did enjoy myself. I did have a good time in the movie theater. Anyway, so ultimately, I would say I will give this an overall rating of a 7.1 out of 10. It's a 7.1 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah, later.